Today, the Obama administration released details about the number of civilians killed by U.S. drone and airstrikes in several countries overseas. The president signed an executive order calling for changes in drone policy in response to years of calls from advocacy groups to be more transparent. The Obama administration says between 64 and 116 civilians have been killed by drones and U.S. airstrikes in Pakistan, Yemen, and Africa since 2009. The disclosure comes after the president signed an executive order calling for changes in U.S. policy to make protecting civilians a priority of U.S. military planners. The casualties do not include deaths of noncombatants in Afghanistan, Iraq, or Syria nations in which the U.S. is engaged in active combat missions. Because drone strikes are so shrouded in secrecy, details about the number of civilians killed are often difficult to obtain, and human rights groups have long claimed the administration undercounts civilian casualties. And we have real concerns about the Obama administration putting out numbers, but not naming the individuals that they're counting as civilians. In April 2015, two innocent hostages, including American aid worker Warren Weinstein, were killed in a CIA drone strike on an al-Qaeda compound on the Afghanistan and Pakistan border. President Obama called the strike a mistake. Mistakes, sometimes deadly mistakes, can occur. The new guidelines call for better training and intelligence to protect civilians on the ground, a review of any strikes involving civilian deaths, and for the U.S. to take responsibility for such incidents, including making payments to those injured or the families of those killed. The president also ordered national intelligence to release annual reports on civilian deaths. The administration says roughly 2,500 militants outside of Iraq and Afghanistan have been taken out by drones since 2009.